Mr. Speaker, I rise today to address the critical need to pass the USMCA, a trade agreement for the 21st century. The USMCA would expand our markets, add $63 billion to the economy, and create 176,000 new jobs, with thousands of those jobs coming to Minnesota. When I'm back in Minnesota's 8th Congressional District meeting farmers, workers, and business men and women alike, I am often asked why Congress has not yet passed the USMCA, even though it was signed by the President nearly a year ago. And my answer is this. If we voted on the USMCA today, it would pass the House with strong bipartisan support. Unfortunately, Democratic leadership refusal to bring this critical trade agreement to the House floor for a vote continues and uncertainty remains for millions of Americans. Pursuing partisan impeachment rather than clinching bipartisan wins for the American worker is not what a majority of the American people sent us here to do. Enough is enough. I urge Democratic leadership to stop playing politics and join the rest of us in working for the American people. The time to pass the USMCA is now. Mr. Speaker, I yield back.